Oh, look at that. Remember in the previous video I said there's probably no Extreme Rules match except for the next one probably? Look, lo and behold, we're in an Extreme Rules match against Stone Cold there. By the way, welcome back to this WWE All-Stars Path to Champions route with uh, Hercule Satan. The Legends route, I should say. I like the fact, too, that you do a regular singles match, Extreme Rules match, and spoilers, a cage match is next against Hulk Hogan, because that's one thing I always remember, uh, that Hulk Hogan's an asshole in this game. Sorry for swearing. But, uh, yeah. I like the fact that they make you do those three random matches and then you face Undertaker. Granted, they make you do nine random matches before you face Undertaker. If you like to see Stone Cold just put his fist up, give me a hell yeah. If you like to see Stone Cold not give you the middle finger, give me a hell yeah. No. No, Stone Cold. You will not do that. You need to give the middle finger to any game. Ugh. I am so glad they're stopping the, uh... Which were funny back in the other SmackDown games. They started to censor the middle finger, which... It was funny looking. Just because the censor bars are always funny to me. Like in uh, No Mercy and WrestleMania 2000, which I gotta do a WrestleMania 2000 playthrough. That that'll be a long ass playthrough though. In WrestleMania 2000, Mr. Ass could show his, you know, ass, but it'd be all blurred out and censored. And they did that in some wrestling games. I'm not sure if they still do it to today for Austin's uh, middle finger taunt. I'll show Steve Austin why I, Hercule Satan, am the champ. Batter up! Yeah. Take it. Take it like a man, Stone Cold. My favorite wrestler of all time, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Man, I miss him. I do enjoy listening to his podcast sometimes. Oh, dear God! Which, uh, ow. Which, um, he must not be on good terms with WWE at the moment because they don't do the Stone Cold podcast on the network anymore, do they? Could be wrong. Oh, look at that. I got a crutch. Yeah, it's going to teach you how to walk. Batter up yet again. Ow. Come on, hit me. Gotcha. Figured out how to grab it, boy. By the way, uh, another thing I kind of dislike about this game. You can't steal finishers or signatures. It's very upsetting. Did you know how awesome it would be to see Stone Cold do the rock bottom in this? Be really awesome. Oh, you see the look on his face? The dirt. Ah, yeah. Look at that, Stone Cold. Let's get back in the ring here so we can get some dramatic camera angles as your little red ore still keeps falling. Yeah. Dramatic camera angles. You're the old Stone Cold. Welcome back. That is game, ladies and gentlemen. Good night, Stone Cold Steve Austin. That was fun. That was domination, too. Wow. Which is all right because, like I said, the cage match is next. Spoilers. I've been saying it throughout this whole damn playthrough. Getting that there. Cage match. With Hulk Hogan upsetting I hate I hate cage matches in this because sometimes the wrestler doesn't stay down long enough I could be wrong though nope steel cage Hulk Hogan unless you're Hulk Hogan then you fight Ricky Steamboat fun fact I think that's I've mentioned that Ricky Steamboat fills in as that extra character hey look you can see the cage hanging oh wow the cage actually lowered no no it doesn't that's upsetting Alright, wh which outfit do you think he's going to use? 80s Hogan? Hollywood Hogan? Or late 90s, early 2000s Hogan? By that, I mean the pants Hogan. That says Hulk still rules. As I roll the dice to let you know that I, Hercule Satan, I have conquered the people's champion. I've conquered the rattlesnake, this snake, the giant. And I will conquer Hulkamania. To make my way to conquer the dead man. Wait, he doesn't have a bandana in this? He has it when he's a uh, Hollywood. 
dun, dun. It's very strange that he has Hollywood Hogan in this, but he comes down to real American. Very, very strange. Well, it's understandable because they only wanted to use one theme song, but it looks weird, I should say. It's like, oh, look, there's Hollywood Hogan, but he doesn't come down to the NWO. That's it's weird. It's weird. It's not right. He's Hollywood. Undertaker. Steel Cage. Hulk Hogan. I will make you know what fear tastes like, dead man. Totally, totally did not see Paul Bear in the background there. Just hugging that urn. Just hugging that urn. That was one of my favorite storylines in um, a SmackDown game. Granted, it was uh, weird because of the way it ended. Is that Eddie Guerrero steals the Undertaker's urn. And he's able to control the Undertaker. What makes it like weird and awkward is that at the end, Undertaker choke slams Eddie Guerrero into a casket, which the game was released maybe a month or two after the death of Eddie Guerrero. Get down, Ho no Hogan! You will not win this damn cage match right away. Oh, nope, 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 no. Nope, nope, nope. See, this is what I mean. Hogan's an asshole. He seems to have a counter for everything and blocks everything, and he's just an asshole. Don't think so, Codebreaker, son. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. No, no, no. So, yeah, as I mentioned, do not ask for a Path of Legends or Path of Champions playthrough with all the characters because, you know, it's just the same outcome, the same animation that plays... Doesn't matter who you are. The only way you can do certain things like the Legends Path with Undertaker is by hacking. You cannot do it with Undertaker because he's the main boss. So don't ask for stuff like that. Like I said, um, I will be doing all the Fantasy Warfare matches, but I will be picking the superstar I want to play as, alright? And if I want to, I just might. Don't get your hopes up. I might show off. DLC characters. I have no clue how I did that, but apparently it took one of my uh, signature meters. Let's do it again. No, nope, no, nope, you can only do it with a signature meter. Okay. That was sick. That was awesome. That was a sure you can that completely missed. Ow, ow, no. No. Oh, God. There's a lot of that uh, wrist. Move. Whoa, what the hell's that noise? Oh no. Hogan. The power slam. Right. But I am Hercule Satan. I will no sell this move. Told you. That's because I am the true champion. And, oh, this is awkward now. <laughs> wow. Why do they have that anime? You know, by the way, something that's been aggravating me for a long time. They, they gotta be trolling, of course. People who keep requesting that Chris Benoit be in a new wrestling game, which uh, they, they have to be trolling because they, they should know that Benoit will never, and I mean never, be in another wrestling game ever again. And they must be trolling because they should know. Because they're like, oh, why won't they put Chris Benoit? They, you, sh you know why, all right? And it's a shame that I keep falling for it. Now, Owen Hart, on the other hand, when they ask for Owen Hart, that's, that one's a tough one because of his wife. I think as long as his wife's alive, that um, Owen Hart will not be in the game because I believe they said his wife blames the death of Owen. Like, the, she blames the death of him on the WWE. That's why Owen Hart will not be in the Hall of Fame, will not do this, that, and the other thing. But I read somewhere that his kids might accept it, which is understandable because, you know, she may not like money, but young young people love money. Well, they're not so young anymore. All right, let's get out of this cage. Show Hulk Hogan why I, Hercule Satan, am the champion. Of the world! And why I will defeat the Undertaker's undefeated... What? 
He's already been defeated a couple times. Well, oh, right. Sorry. Anyway, I, Hercule Satan, have conquered the perfect one. I have conquered the Superfly, the Snake, the Rattlesnake, the Great One, the People's Champ, Hulkamania, and whoever else I totally forget that was in this playthrough. But now I go on to conquer the dead man. Stay tuned for that. Hercule Satan versus The Undertaker. Next time here on WWE All-Stars Path of Champions Legend Playthrough. My name's Klinkeroth. I thank you all so much for watching.